Uh, this is in a neighborhood, Lauren, near Stop 11 and Bluff Road. Investigators are still here on the scene. They say just after 930, officers were called to the home in the 1800 block of Inishir Court on a report of a possible residential robbery. Police say a housekeeper came to the house, noticed it looked like there had been some type of disturbance inside, called police. Officers inside then found the homeowner. They say there was trauma to the body. Police have been looking for a vehicle they thought may have been taken from the home. But joining us now live is Officer Aaron Hamer with Indianapolis Metro Police. I understand that vehicle has been found or a vehicle matching that description. That vehicle, the, the one we put out earlier with the same uh, license plate, has actually had been located in the neighborhood. It has been. And what, at this point, can people around here or around the city do to help you? Definitely. As we've seen this morning, the person who identified the vehicle and called, obviously, so the community right now is being very, very helpful in that information, is able to help us find the actual vehicle. So that's so we thank the public at this point, but we also encourage anyone else who may have seen something or heard something or may have video surveillance in the neighborhood. That would be really, really helpful for us going forward. And if people are concerned, I know we've been talking to people. They say, you know, they're, they're guarded at this point. They can remain anonymous if, if they feel that way. Absolutely. Correct? You can definitely call 262 TIPS um, and you, you will remain anonymous and it's a crime stoppers or they can contact homicide directly and request that they remain anonymous as well. Okay, thank you so much, Officer Aaron Hamer with Indianapolis Metro Police. So, again, officers still here on the scene. They say they have been waiting for a search warrant before they can go inside of the house. The crime lab is now here on the scene as well. I asked, do you think other things may have been taken from the home? And they say there is a possibility. But you see, there is just a, a fleet of detectives and investigators out here at the scene. And, Lauren, I also just talked to a man who lives in the neighborhood. He actually said that he, he knows the street where the vehicle was found and said that it had been there for a couple of days, according to neighbors, but they didn't think anything of it to call because, you know, they didn't know if it was a student home or something else like that. But they said, again, now they realize that uh, maybe they should have called. So it's just, I think, a note for all of us. If you see suspicious vehicles in your neighborhood, go, go ahead and call police. Reporting live on the south side, Julie Persley, RTV. Six.